What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul with Liberty Hill Comics. The channel is where I share my passion and over 40 years experience comic book collecting, investing, and conservation with you. This is episode 10 for this copy of America's Best Comics number 12 from January 1945, The Golden Age of Comic Books. Today we're going to deacidify one of the interior wraps of this comic book and do some mending on it in preparation for getting this book finished and all back together. Thank you for joining me today. I sincerely appreciate all the viewers, but especially those of you that take the time to like, subscribe, and comment on the videos. By way of summary for this project, we're using my nine-step comic book conservation process. Not all comics require all nine steps, and we determined this book only needed six of the nine steps. We already performed the assessment, dry cleaning, and wet cleaning, and chemical stabilization of the cover and the first wrap, and then we did glue removal and began physical stabilization. We mended the two halves of the cover and all the loose bits of paper from the glue removal back into one cohesive sheet and trimmed the cover. Today I'll show you my process for deacidification and mending of the inner wraps on one of the pages, and I'll complete the rest off camera because they'll essentially be the same process. We'll finish the rest of the steps in future episodes and we'll wrap up with a summary video when we're all done. I've already experimented with a few of the inner wraps to see what wash procedure will work best. In previous deacidification videos, you've seen me put the page on my work mat over Holitex and apply with a spray bottle just enough of our deacidification wash as necessary to wet the page, then perform any necessary mending and go on to drying. But these pages have an awful lot of tanning to them. You'll see later in the video today. And so they're getting a full submersion bath. Here are some images of a page I've already completed and a page I haven't washed yet. The page I've already washed is below and the unwashed page is on top. Both pages are probably off-white to tan, but the top page is nearly tan and the bottom page is almost off-white. This is a subtle distinction, but a very important one. You'll also note that any creases that run through the book, like this one along the tops of the pages, are pressed flat during the process and any stains in the paper from over the years tend to be washed out and the paper color evened out with the surrounding paper, which definitely improves the presentation of the book as well as removing any contaminants from the stain that may degrade the paper over time. And lastly, the inks have remained saturated and vibrant and are not washed away substantially. Again, the washed pages below the page on top is unwashed. If anything, the inks look brighter on top of the lighter paper. So based on these results, I have a method that I'm pleased with that I'll show you today. I'm going to perform the demonstration today on the centerfold. The centerfold is really important. It receives the second most amount of stress in the book after the cover. The staples fold in at the centerfold and that pressure is what secures all of the pages or wraps of the comic into one book. Essentially, the inner wraps are pinched between the cover and the centerfold but the cover has the entire flat piece of staple wire to distribute the force of that pinch, while the centerfold has most of the force concentrated on the two turned down prong tips, which are sharp. These tips can easily cut into and rip the paper. That is why centerfolds are so often loose, as is the case with this centerfold. So we'll be mending the staple holes today in as unobtrusive manner as possible to help hold the book together, but not distract from overall appearance. We're gonna start with the page on Holitex in my photo developer tray. You'll wanna place it with the side you want to mend. In this case, the outside of the centerfold so it will be less obvious when viewing the book. Face down, because we're gonna be flipping this page when we go from the photo development tray to our work mat. I apply the wash over the page sandwiched between two sheets of Holitex and make sure there are no air bubbles under the page. I'm gonna give these pages three washes using the same solution for all three washes. The wash solution is 25% saturated calcium hydroxide, approximately 0.4 grams per liter. 
I make this up by using my super saturated calcium hydroxide solution and mixing it one part to three with warm tap water. I have crystal clear well water that is filtered and softened with a basic pH of about 7.4 from the tap. I effectively use 100 mils of the super saturated calcium hydroxide mixed with 300 mils of warm tap water for 400 mils total because that is just enough to cover my page nicely in my photographic tray. Air bubbles will stop your page from interacting with the wash and may result in darker spots, so they need to be removed. Remember, this dilute calcium hydroxide solution is safe for your hands unless you have really sensitive skin. It does have a relatively high pH. I'll leave it here for about 15 minutes with occasional inspection to make sure the page stays saturated and no air bubbles have formed and gentle rocking to help the wash get all the tanning out of the page. After 15 minutes, I'll get a good picture of the color of the wash, then repeat with a second wash and a final third wash, all with the same solution. Here's an image of the first wash. You can see how dark the rinseate is after 15 minutes, and then an image of the collected rinseate against a white background. After the second wash of 15 minutes, you can see the rinse aid is not as dark, either in the tray or against a white background. Lastly, by the third wash, you can see there's still some tanning coming off in the paper, but it's much less both when we see it in the tray as well as in the beaker against the white background. Could I do a fourth wash and so on until the rinse aid is clear? I could, but there's a diminishing return here. I've made a calculated decision to stop at three washes for a number of reasons. First, we've already completed washing, reassembly, and mending the cover and the cover is not a brilliant white, and the pages should not be brighter than the cover for a natural looking book. Second, the entire cover was split. We have some small missing pieces, and our overall grade on this, even with the conservation, is still going to be relatively low. Having the final pages be off-white to tan is not gonna lower the grade at all. Third, I really want to make sure I don't get any substantial ink loss or diffusion through the paper so it can be seen in a bleed on the opposite side of the wrap. After three washes, we are still good on that front as long as we dry the page quickly, and I don't want to take any undue risks with the inks. And lastly, 
Whiter Pages here would be merely cosmetic. By performing three washes with the deacidification wash and drying the page with the alkaline reserve in it, we are correcting the acidification of the paper over the last 78 years and providing protection for the next 100 years for this book. So for these reasons, I'm calling it on this particular book after three washes. For other books, I may do either more or fewer washes, but in each case, these are the factors I use to decide how many total washes to perform. After the washes are complete, I'll place the page on my work mat. That is when we'll flip the page. and I'll dry it off so it's wet but not super saturated before mending. and mend it with Japanese paper and wheat paste. We'll rip a small piece of Tengujo paper to cover the staple hole. Here, I like to extend farther down the spine than I do outward, because the paper on the spine is going to be hidden when the book is reassembled. The Japanese paper I'm using is Tengujo, and it's the five grams per square meter thickness. I'm using wheat paste because I had some made up and because I want this repair to be very durable, but a methyl cellulose gel would probably be just as effective here. Once the repair is complete, I'll dry this page off with paper towels. You could also use blotting paper. And once dry, put each page between a sheet of Strathmore Bristol paper. You have to get the smooth Bristol so you don't impart any pebbling into your pages. And put it into my Seal Masterpiece 350 that is often used as a cold press. 
Then I'll repeat this 11 more times. This book has 12 inner wraps plus the cover to make the official 52 pages. And then we'll be ready for reassembly and pressing. I hope you enjoyed this Golden Age comic book conservation video. Most of the materials I used today, including the photo development tray, the calcium hydroxide, the wheat paste, and the Bristol paper, are all available from Amazon in the affiliate links below if you need any of them for your own conservation efforts. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and tune in for the next episode in the process. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care of one another. Ooh.